Oh my goodness. Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining me, Ferris Creek, on this dark and terrifying adventure aboard Talos One. You have no idea. This has been such a breath of fresh air. I think I hit the turret. <laughs> How could you not enjoy these kinds of experiences? Well, maybe, maybe it's not for everyone, you know? To each their own. Okay, so this is the machine shop. I don't think we need to be here quite yet. I'm going to leave that turret. It's been destroyed by me. Finally, I was its final demise, which is probably good, because, you know, it's a robot that's going to turn on you eventually. Hello, are you here for an appointment? No, but do you have any disruptor batteries? <clears throat> you know, disruptor batteries might be in the machine shop. Cool lift. Can take my time a little bit, check everything. A more thoroughly. Oh. Okay, so that I think is a hazard that I don't want to. Employer. So, as for this, I hope I don't lose too much ammo, but. I think some of these are unquenchable. It's too bad because the sound is pretty annoying. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to waste much ammo. Here I go. Stuff up here? Nope. No stuff. Let's reload our glue cannon. Okay. Yep. That was, that was a mistake. I got too close. Let's go see the dock. Hello. Nice to see you. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. I'll have you feeling better soon. All done. Please fill That's out a cool. patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. Convenient, but not too convenient. Okay. Go into the demonstration room. There's multiple ways into the machine shop. I went over this way. Oh, you know, I could go in here too. One thing at a time. I gotta stay focused here. I'm gonna pick up this stuff because I couldn't grab it before. I didn't have room. And I think. 
think. Maybe there's stuff in there. I'll check later. For now. I believe, yeah, I'm empty on that, so... It's too bad, because I would like to have it for this fight. What I think I may do, though... I don't want to do it that way, but... You know, Mach. Very good. Maybe I could do something like this. That didn't really go as I had planned. Oh boy, I don't want to be next to those. Or on top of this. Oh. Is he coming this way? Bunch of loot. Let's have some food. Uh, the dock is nearby. I don't want to use a med pack if I can just visit the dock. I know. I've already been there twice, but. Flexi foam darts. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, this is... <laughs> it's like a nerf launcher. Does do zero damage. Okay, so this is probably for puzzles. Yeah, computer screens or something, I bet. That's funny. Okay. Whew. Sorry, Clive. Duck beer. That was everything. Just making sure, you know. All right, how many neuromods do I have? Four. Oh, now would be a good time for hacking. I think. Let me have a look and see what else there is. Can I go with sneaking yet? Did I already get that? I think. Yeah, stealth one. What is this? Sneak attack. Oof. I think I'll try for that. Oh, man. Conditioning. Hmm. Oh, that one... That one's kind of good overall, but I think darn it, man! So many choices. 
Dismantle breaks down equipment in your inventory into spare parts. Oh, okay, that's not. Ooh, increased recycling yield. Um, we're gonna go with hacking. I wanna get it, have it, use it. Probably go for repair next. Realistically, turrets need repair. And the the stations. Okay. We're gonna ignore that area for right now. Hello. I'm actually going Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. Try to relax. Good as new. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. I'm gonna take this route to the machine. Lab. Oh, darn it. I wish. I really wish I had more disruptor batteries. Especially for this area. I love this. Just feel really sneaky. Man, that's that is jarring when that happens. Kinda. New supervisory override received. Bang, bang, bang to you. You can see the robots in John. Oh, my goodness. There are so many of them. Um, Alright, that was a good initial scout into the area. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this way. Oh Hello. they're coming. They're coming! Wow! this. Wow, they... Maybe I can help you. Zero medical class operator. Diagnosing, bruising, abrasions, fatigue, nothing like this. They knew right how to get to me. Repair is needed. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Might actually be better to go this way. Darn it. <laughs> Accidentally destroying the first dock. Sorry, doc. That leads back to where we kind of just came from, the machine that's arcing electricity. Alright, there are mimics around. But I want to explore. Oh. So cool, you can actually come down here. 
It's probably mix. Tucked away, though. Corroded coil. Alright, just checking underneath first. And we'll go up inside. Check everywhere, you know. Check here, check there. I already got the contents in there, so. Oh. It's coming. Um. Shoot. Guys don't care about no shotgun. Yikes. That was a lot. Oh, you know what? I had EMP grenades. Darn it. I'm a fool. Uh let's prepare. That was darn sloppy. Q beam cells. Okay. Let's see, what does this guy have? Alright, I think that's about it. Oh, he's staying there to get electrocuted. There are still the mimics, though, about this area. Wonder what happened to these operators to cause them to attack humans. They we're subverted. The Huntress is ready from Mary. Malinaro to Clive Lawrence and Franklin Good. Okay, guys, I think it's ready to go now. I've dubbed it the Huntress Bolt, Bolt Caster. Clive, I love your idea for capacitive. Yeah, capacitive tips on the bolts. <laughs> send me some tech, or send me a technical spec, and I'll incorporate it into the ammo fabrication plan. Those tips will activate any touch screen. I knew it. They hit. I've gathered a lot of trash for feeding the fabricators so <laughs> so we can make some of these after work and try them out. That was a weird sentence to read, sentence to read because it's like, I've gathered a lot of trash. And I was waiting for it to be like a, yeah, not literal. Missing operator parts. Ooh. From Clive Lawrence to Danielle Show or Shodan. Not really, but whoops. Have you looked into the operator dispenser logs and the missing parts? Every operator in the station needs to be accounted for. I'll bring it up with Alex next. Please do, it's not my responsibility. It's Morgan's. Whoa! Fabricator malfunction from Dr. Thornstein. Checked out the Neuromod stamps and the lattices in the fabricator and both check out. There's no obvious failure in the components. I need, may need to disassemble the machine. 
It's possible there's something in the specs Igwe is using that's causing the failure rate. Hard to believe. Igwe's pretty thorough, but we all make mistakes. I'll keep working on it. I didn't mean to make that a question, by the way. Maybe there was something specific about that batch. Aren't there a few scrambled ones in the last cycle, too? Clive, thank you for the update. I'll handle it from here. Okay, so. And that's it. Preliminary tests with an increased spring constant are proving promising, but it's tricky t getting fabricators to make them stiff enough, but not brittle. Another option is scavenging cargo brought up from the earth. Thornstein's assistant has an eagle eye, though. Dear Clive, diary. He's just trying to impress Mary by coming up with an improvement to her toy gun design. Even if he was smart enough to improve on her work, she'd never give him the time of day. Ooh, jealousy. Tree for a supplemental supplement. Supplemental supplemental. I'm well on my way to figuring out how to increase the range and stay the hell out of my journal, Franklin. Ooh. Yeah, trash. Alright, my mix. I know you're around. I know you're out here. Mimicking this and mimicking that. Yeah, another. Another Neuromod. So that makes two. Oh wait, no, I already used one. Let's get this. Increase our health, increase our stats a little bit across the board, or some of our stats across the board. Alright, so this is the other... thought I did something. It'll be a jerk. Gosh, I hope not. I don't really have some trains. engineering class operator ready to Nice. Okay, so that will repair my suit. Perfect. Oh man, this game is so cool. Being, I'm being hasty. Treebeard would not approve. <laughs> Treebeard. I must stay calm. And Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. So you can... you can go out into space. Wow. I, I suppose I shouldn't have been surprised by that, but... I hadn't really... Considered it, I guess. Whatever. Whatever, man. So I can't get in there.
Thought I'd run into one a lot sooner. Oh. That's pretty cool. Wonder if there's like a base down there that you can see. <laughs> All right, well. I suppose I'm going in. Oh, what is this? Recycler charge. Whoops. Darn it, I should have read that. Toss it in. Oh, I think it. Oh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. might undo that. I guess I... I guess I did undo that. Sorry about that. A little bit of saves coming here. And I think we'll get that phone call again, maybe? Yeah. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Yes. There's also a mimic over here. Can't remember where. One of these boxes, yep. Kinda cheese it this time a little bit. Oh, yes, and get to read the tooltip. Perfect. Recycler charge. When detonated, the recycler charge breaks down the molecular structure of nearby objects into recyclable material. Your uniform offers some degree of protect protection, but is not fail-safe. Standing too close can prove hazardous. Circular charges can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects. That's awesome. Uh, back to the wrench, actually. Load that, and back to the wrench. Yeah, I wanted the stuff. Nope. Clive, we need to... Up the reload speed on the glue cannon. The actuators are slow on this thing. Mary. Spare parts. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Didn't want to. <laughs> didn't want to recycle those. For the most part, I was happy. But uh, seeing those, I'm especially glad. I don't know if they can be recycled, but... Okay, so I've got three. Let's see. Why is that locked? Requires conditioning. Oh, that's right.
doubles both the duration of well-fed bonus and the health gained by consuming food. That's not bad. I think I'll get it. Okay. Because I do actually eat food. Fairly frequently. Manual override. Alright, so... Stand clear. Maintenance in progress. Uh, I think there's like radiation. Yeah, radiation over there. There's probably stuff. Stuff. Okay, I think I've explored most of this area. Oh, that's right. Requesting new operator. I didn't bring him out. Transtar Cobalt 410 Engineering Class Operator ready to inspect. Please here. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um. So that doesn't last. Let's see what's up here. Oh. oh. Perfect. Oops. Uh, propulsion system. Okay. Transtar uniform guide. Your Transtar uniform has been designed for your safety, comfort, and to facilitate your work. The uniform must be worn at all times while on board the t station. I was going to say Talos, but... While every effort has been made to make Talos a comfortable and safe place to work, there is always the chance of an accident or hazard. Departmental assignments can be determined by uniform, style, and color. Brown and black, corporate and administrative. Green and white, science and technology. Orange, engineering and maintenance. Blue and black, security. That makes sense. Bolt effectiveness. From Clive Lawrence to Franklin Goody. And originally from Franklin to Clive. Hey Clive, sorry for the bolts all over the machine shop. It's really the only place I can try out the new gun. I think it's coming along rather nicely. Still, still want to help. <laughs> Word that worded that differently. I've already recruited Mary. Don't sweat it. When the cat's away and all that, I think I have a few ideas. I'll draw something up and send it to you and Mary. Psychotronic satellite from Jorgen Thornstein. Franklin, the satellite presently in the repair bay of the machine shop is scheduled to be decommissioned. However, Dr. Kelstrup has requested that we remove the psychotronic transistor elements and install them in the new satellite. I don't know what they do, so don't bother asking. Just get it done ASAP. Dr. Thornstein. Interesting. Alright, well I'm going to wrap up the exploration of this area. Um, I'll read the contents of this computer next time as we are concluding this episode. So, as always, thank you so much for joining me, as always. Stay safe out there, and I hope to see y'all in the next one.